Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. If you are watching my channel for the first time, please do subscribe to my channel and give me your support. One of our subscriber requested to publish some videos on SAPSD support project real time tickets. So let's get started. So in this series, we are going to discuss about SAPSD real time tickets only. The first issue that we have here is that business wants to complete the status of sales orders. So they have some bunch of sales orders like 100 or 200 orders are there for those orders. So business wants to complete the sales order status to from being processed to completed. If you closely observe this, it's a third party scenario. Sales order, purchase order, invoice, right? So it's a third party scenario. That's, for, that's the first thing that we have analyzed here. After that, if you closely look at here, order quantity is four, but invoice has been created for 3.972. That means 0.028 is still to be built, but it has been built for 3.972. Due to this incomplete quantity has been built, that's why order status is still being processed. But a business confirmed that they don't want to build any more invoices for this remaining quantities. So they are expecting us to complete the order status. Now let's understand even further the quantity is 4. Instead of 4, why they have delivered in 3.970 each is this completely wrong because if you order for example 4 chocolates for each is then you are going to get 4 complete only right. So you are getting 3.972 chocolates how it's possible it's not possible right. And even customer also won't accept if you deliver the partially quantity. Then why, then what may be happened? Why in this case, invoice created for 3.972? Yeah, so first it's a third party scenario. In third party scenario, right? So goods received will take place, right? In goods received, in goods received, the quantity has been I mean the product has been delivered in, in kgs and in the material master also they have maintained some conversion here so one each equal to 850 kgs right that means they could have delivered 850 into 4 that means Eight fifty into four. They could have delivered three thousand four hundred kgs. If you see here, this is that uh, another screenshot I have taken from the GR only, right? So in the PO, we uh, the vendor will deliver the goods to that uh, end customer, and then we will do the GR, right? So in the GR, we can see that the delivered quantity in kg are three thousand three seventy six. So we're short pile of 24 kgs. If they could have delivered 3400 kgs means the invoice could have built for four each years, but they have delivered in the kgs that is the two less than 3400. Okay. So 8,850 into four equal to 3400. Pages, but delivered quantity in kg are 3376 only. This is equivalent to uh, 
this is equal to 3.97 to each s and business confirmed that vendor is not going to deliver the remaining 24 kgs so business now want to complete the status of this order now why business want to complete the status of this order there are few reasons why business wants to complete the status of this order the first is that as this is uh, still open this status of this order is still open so business they are they are still able to see that orders in va05 or va05n and moreover coming to the credit exposure point of view right so in case of classic credit management in the classic credit management this order is still showing as open in s0 66 structure in case of uh, fscm it's visible in 100 commitment due to this all the reasons business wants to complete the status of this order if this status has been completed then we don't see this order in va05 or va05n similarly we don't see that order credit data in s0 66 structure as well as in case of fscm it won't visible under 100 category okay there are two ways that we can fix this issue the first way is to update the order quantity in va02 to 3.972 so if we do this then automatically our status will become completed but the problem here is that whenever any changes happened in the order like a new item addition quantity change or request delivery date change any other changes and the output will trigger to the end customer but yeah it's an issue and um, business doesn't expect that to send one more acknowledgement to that end user say in customer saying that quantity has been changed so to this is one of the reason and uh, one more is that they should completely remove this data in these two areas this open order data and this credit data so the only one way to avoid and make this order completed is to in the debug change mode okay in the debug change mode order status should be updated to c the field the table is vb uk field is gb stk if you update this field as c then in the order document flow or inverse document flow we see that uh, status of an order should be completed so currently the status is b partially processed are being processed if we make it c means the data won't appear in we are 05 or we are 05n and it won't appear in the relevant credit exposures data and moreover if the business has 1000 2000 sales orders are there and uh, they can't open each and every order and update the status of 
are all the others it's time consuming it's not a suggestible way also right to avoid all these problems we are simply going updating the database table level so app team will get an access the special approval access to do any modification in production system I hope uh, you guys uh, understand this issue and uh, what needs to be done if you receive similar kind of issues in your project or in your company thank you guys will you will speak in next video